do I'm this. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I am scared to talk about this. We, whenever you on a mic, as much as we are, you're gonna say some things and be like, "Oh, yeah, they didn't come out right." Not, oh. I shouldn't have said that. You just surely had to know the Breakfast Club was an assignment. That wasn't you just like, yeah, man, nah. let's let's cheers it up. What's up, bro? I'm just up here chilling. You know what I'm saying? This is an Iwebu production. Period. This is straight up improv. We did not oh, plan am, to do I'm gonna this. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I am scared to talk about this oh. because I have been growing, guys. I've been growing in my grace when it comes to talking about certain things. And I tried to stay off of this because I have a different type of righteous anger towards this stuff. Okay. And I feel like I've been just riding a wave. Oh, just man. do y'all feel like I've been good? Like what I, we had a subscriber, she checked me in the comments. I ain't gonna say what she said. I ain't gonna call her out, but she know I love her. If she's here tonight, I see you. I saw that comment. I took it. I said, you right. I do do that. And I need to stop doing that. So I've been growing and talking about this tight tribute, con this, this tight tribute content. I don't know. Let's, I'm praying hey, old TK don't come out. Recently, if many of you didn't know, Grammy Award winning gospel singer, Ty Tribbett was on The Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. And he has some interesting uh, comments to make about the church. I want y'all to watch this clip right here. System now. Oh, God. It's a system. Everything is a system. And systems work with or without God. Mm -hmm. So I think the institution of church is whack. I mm -hmm. think how church is ran is whack. I think the religious system and structure is whack. I don't subscribe to it, even though... I grew up in it. I benefited from it, but I learned that God is not the church. And once right. I realized, whoa, God ain't church. That mm -hmm. uh, for me, you know what I mean. I ain't from the streets. I'm from the church. So that was a huge thing as well. It's in the yeah. Bible. It says you can't even find God in a man-made temple. Why? Mm -hmm. Why don't we read that though? Mm -hmm. How? How often do you hear that sermon? No, you hear people. Pastors make the people about the church. We got the church name, we church and the church and the bumper sticker, the church. The church, <laughs> the church should be about the people. Yeah, yeah, the church yeah. should be about the people, but yeah. the church makes the people about the church. So all churches now are a movement, but they're not about the people. They're not about serving and loving the people. Yeah. What do y'all look for when you go to a church? What do y'all what do y'all look for? Like you said, uh, everyone don't don't touch your soul, don't minister to your spirit. It's well, not about what I look for. It's about what I feel. Mm -hmm. Got it. It's a feeling. You know what I mean? Like you just, yeah, I know people, what you mean. Some people just speak to your soul. Like, yep. you know, I mm -hmm. think Sarah Jakes right now, man, she's talking at least to me. Oh she's talking God. to you. I love like, it. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so even when I'm just so, listening to her podcast. Um, so I just think some people have an anointing on them for the moment that we are in. And just like her father had it and still has it, you know, yeah, of I course, think she of has course. it for the current moment that we're in or I, and and then another thing so growing up in a church where you know i'm, I'm so used to that back in the day like mm -hmm. for instance i don't want to go to a, a big 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 church yeah because the pastor don't know me mm. the pastor don't i'm used to going to talk to the pastor pastor after church going to get that individual yeah, prayer individual, going personal, to tell him yeah. what i'm struggling with mm -hmm. and all that as a teenager i was going through a lot of things you mm -hmm. know what i mean so i would be able to go and talk to my uncle he he is the the bishop like yeah. go and talk to him and stuff like that but i've gone to churches where you know the pastor don't even know you and he's yeah. not even tripping off getting to know nobody yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah he just come and he do his thing they sing a whole album before he start <laughs> The sermon, even, only one you know, album. Yeah, what, yes, right. You you shout. I see people shouting. I see you know all of that, and that's what I'm used to too. Because you're not cut a little yeah, in the church. Okay, you know? all right, all right, I start okay. coming from there. Okay, you, you know? shout, and shout then me. absolutely not. I grew up to a witness. Okay, so I ain't start going to church till later. First time I was heated. That was my first thing. She could tell you I came in a room and I was just straight up heated by what he said. I think it comes from a place of why does every time we get on someone's platform. I feel like believers got a tap dance. Like we got a tap dance so we can fit in with the culture. I, I get what he was trying to say. So I got grace for that. I got I got grace for, okay, he said that. That was just the wrong way to say it. Because I've said some things. We Whenever you're on a mic, as much as we are, you're going to say some things and be like, oh, yeah, that didn't come out right. Not, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. And when he said that, I was like, ooh. I don't, like, because I've seen clips of Ty Tribbett and I'm like, man, I think, he seems like a pretty dope person. And I feel like he leaked his grievances, grievances on the wrong platform. Mm. And I am sick and I am tired of seeing some of your big name artists 
get on places like the Breakfast Club and they tell us more. They talk worse about the church when they're on when they're on those podcasts. They work. They talk worse about what Christians aren't for than what we are for. Mm. I, I get sick and tired of it. It's like, why are y'all trying to be so cool with them? So I'm so grateful for brothers like D1 who was just on there. We had a big win for the kingdom. Yeah, We had a big win for the kingdom with D1. He went on there and was the light. He was the light. Yeah, He went on there and, and spoke the truth about, about God and just how the music is polluting the airways is polluting our children, just everything that we're seeing. We don't understand why women are still being treated the way they are. Yeah. Uh, we don't understand why African-Americans are still being treated the way that we are being treated and oppressed in uh, racism and all these things because of what we're polluting with the airways. And so D1, he speaks so very articulate. Mm. He's very articulate about um, expressing God's heart in the Bible and things of that sort to non-believers. And so I'm, I just love seeing him when he was on there and on the pivot. But I'm like, so that was a big win. I'm like, yeah. they got the right dude up there. Great. And then this clip comes out and I'm like, really? And I put it in the comments. Y'all probably will see it if y'all follow me. Uh, but I put it in the comments on there and I, I paraphrase him, but I'm like, Man, why do believers got to do this? Because whenever we see Minister Farrakhan get on there, whenever we see Dr. Umar get on there, whenever we see 19 Keys get on there, whenever we see any of these guys with any of these other beliefs get on there, they never, they never trash whatever their faith is. They never talk about the downsides. We, you know what I'm saying? Like we, let's, like Nation of Islam. I don't know a lot about it, but I do know that one of the people that they praise is uh, Elijah Muhammad. And they call him the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm, and, and again, I might be paraphrasing and I have some of it, but he was accused of some horrific things when it comes to underage women. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about that part, though. Of course. They, they don't talk about how some of the women are treated in that culture or anything. They're, they're not going to talk about it. Yeah. If something was wrong with the minister, they're never going to talk about that stuff. Yeah. They're never going to talk about the downsides. Not they publicly. only tell you about the up. But when we get on platforms, because we want to fit in with the quote unquote cool kids, we start to make these type of st statements and it's dumb, especially from somebody who profited so heavily from it. So I understood his heart, but I was straight up ticked off. I was fired up about it. Obviously, got some points about the institution. Obviously, there's some churches and some pastors that should not be leading flocks. We, we, we know that. But I believe that we when you're on that platform, why can't we not highlight a lot of the, the big time churches that's doing crazy great things in the community? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, you know, drives. They're 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 feeding people's spirit, but also feeding their stomach. Mm -hmm. They're paying people's rent, light, gas bills, hospital bills, all that. We get on these platforms and we talk about, oh, it's whack. What? Ticked me off so bad. I understood where he was coming from. And I was like, I'm praying for him because if I would have done something like that and don't get it wrong, I've leaked. I've leaked on here and gone back and I'm like, dang it, man. I would have felt bad about that. So I wonder if he feels bad about any of it because, yes, yeah, she has some truth within it. But some of it wasn't, man. We are the church, the body overall. Yes, some of the institutions are jacked up, but there are many more uh, that are doing some really great things. What about you, babe? Yeah, that was great, y'all. Put some fire signs in the chat. I think I'm actually more saddened by the separation, the division in the body. Like there is so much separation within us, like you said, that isn't in other faiths. Yeah. publicly like how we are like you have it's so many categories like you have the people like what we've been seeing like these really self-righteous people mm -hmm. who only speak about like the last days and jesus is coming and mm -hmm. like don't have no money type of thing mm -hmm. people like they feel like they're overly righteous because they aren't going after anything in life right. and all they do is fast and pray right. and then you have the people that are like no the lord said we can have this stuff yeah and they're going after all that they can and we think that's only prosper uh what's it called prosperity mm -hmm. uh teachers and we talk about them and then we get talked about because we're talking about relationships and that's not mm -hmm. really that important and then like it's everybody is nitpicking at each other i feel more important no this is more important no you ain't a real christian unless you do this <laughs> and, and then you have the category of christians that are literally 
blending in with the world. They, they, I, I see so many Christians talk about Christians on their platforms. And, and if they get around a brother and sister that is broken, that is dealing with sin, they will not mummer it's nothing come on it, uh, not, not a peep will come out of their mouth and so that's the category of cowards that i call come on. and so i feel like i, I think it's just it's, it saddens me that somebody that will at, at his status will get on a platform like this and communicate and articulate the way that he did when it comes to the church because it's the church the reason why you got that big crib. Come it's on. the church reason why you got that car. It's the church reason why you able to fly and put your wife in some Louis Vuitton. It's the church reason why your, 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 your lady got those bundles going down her back. It's the reason why your kids are in private school. It's the reason why you able to fly a barber and get your hair lined up with a black line across it. It's the reason why you're able to go on tour and have tens of thousands of people show up and support you. It's the reason why you can drop books and sell out. It's the reason why you have a platform and get paid off of it and you don't even have to do much the church is that reason and i thought it was so disrespectful it to was. do that when we have funded your entire existence come on and it's it's sad it saddens me like why do we have to compare the, i was just saying this earlier on instagram we are forever comparing an arm to a leg we're forever comparing the head to the ankles we're a, the body we all operate together but when it is time to be on call when it is time to be on mission when it is time for us to step in our assignment you had you just surely had to know the breakfast club was an assignment come on that wasn't you just like yeah man nah. let's let's cheers it up what's up bro i'm just up here chilling you know what i'm saying no, you are there. You know Charlemagne, DJ Envy, Jessica. These, all of these people need to hear the gospel, and they on. and I get it. Y'all like, well, he don't need to go up there and preach. He didn't have to preach, nope. but the it, it, the same people that we talk about. So we talk about Mike Todd, right? We talk about Tim Ross. We talk about these people that a lot of people don't like, but when they get on these flat platforms, they are not fickle in their faith. Come on. And they actually bring people in. That's real. But then you got what we thought was heavy hitters. They get around them. Yeah, I think we treat homosexuals just so bad. No, we don't. We just don't agree <laughs> with their lifestyle. That, that doesn't mean we're treating them bad. We don't agree. Yeah. Just like Buddhists and, and the whatever, all the Indians, of the, all their culture, they don't believe in women being immodest. It don't mean they hate a woman that's immodest. Yeah. It means they don't agree with it. You can be in your faith. It, it is only Christians who yeah. are made to waver in their faith. Why do I got to do that? If y'all literally depend on the stars and the astrology, y'all can stand on that. But then when it comes to a Christian, it's like, that's too much. No, your stars are too much. Yeah. Your lifestyle is too much, but we don't say anything, right? right? But when it comes to us, it's like, quiet down, be quiet. Don't go in there. Jesus sat with the sinners. Yeah, but he wasn't smoking with them and he wasn't a coward while he was around them. Message. Jesus was with the sinners, but he was not a sinner. He was not one of them. There's a difference. So when you get around sinners, you have to know at all. This is why it says to be sober and to be alert. Come on. Because when you get around sinners, you have to know I am on a sign. I don't, y'all, we trying to enjoy flesh so bad yeah. that we literally forget that we are literally created for the glory and the honor of Jesus. Come on. We're created to honor him. Yeah. So I don't care how much I love you, sister of God, sister in Christ, brother in Christ. I can sit in a room full of sinners, but I'm not going to partake in the sin. That's real. And what I what I am going to do, I won't. I also won't just sit there and start rebuking you and casting you and saying, hey, what well, you're a homosexual. That's not right. You're doing this. That No, but what I am going to do is I'm going to stand on what I believe in. When you ask me something, I won't fold on it. On. And when it is a moment to be able to love on you and invite you in, I'm going to do that. And I can't do that by trashing my own faith. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. The reason why we attracted to a stars in the uh the 19 keys whoever is because they stand on that stuff yeah. they stand in that yeah. they're like no nah, this is you're a god you have the power to perform miracles your ancestors this da, 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 da. yeah they're not like hmm i mean yeah kind of like on, it's only us that do all that wavering stuff they when they get to in uh, man when they get to talking about jesus some of them oh they they oh they trash them oh they hard. definitely oh, trash they, oh i'm jesus. talking about they stonk 
Yeah. Like we be so cool how we talk about these other faiths. We try to be like we try not to hurt them and we well, kind of we, we do it them. in love. You know, we do, you don't we, have to. Yeah, we we you do don't it have in, to trash them. We do it in love when we don't need to trash them. You but when they to. come for uh, for when they come for our God, we like stupid. They, they come hard. We, Christians are brainwashed. Yeah. They just taking all the girl the they want to keep women single. They they trash Christians. We are yeah. the only belief that they act like that on. And then what sucks? Is the outside is already trashing us. Come on. Then you got people. I'd be like, Why would we get I'd be like this. I'd be like, babe, mm -hmm. if you don't want to be a Christian, just say that. Yeah. You don't have to do this. Like you can literally go follow anything you want. Yeah. It's so many believers that I'd be so confused. I'm like, why are you a believer? You don't have to be. You don't have to be since you hate us so bad and you hate the church so bad and you hate the way Christians move. People be getting mad because you be standing on certain lifestyles like, no, we don't agree with that. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to love like Jesus. Jesus did love y'all, but he also did rebuke sin. The wages of sin is death. And y'all out here coddling sinners, not knowing you literally rocking them on, to the, on the way to hell. Really? Oh, it's okay to be yeah, that way. It's, it's and a, you're rocking them to hell when you know the truth, but you're too cowardly to say anything. Yeah. And so I am saddened yeah. by, you know how I feel about cowards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how I feel about that. I'm like, yeah. what are y'all scared of? It's like one of my, no, yeah. I, my mind is like, nobody can beat me up. Come on. Like, what are y'all going to... People be... Pe I oh. done had people... Hey, I see these comments. You straight girl. I don't give a darn about these people. <laughs> what are they going to do to me? I don't give a darn if y'all disagree with what I'm talking about. Even if I could be talking out the side of my neck. If you don't agree, you think my feelings get hurt because you don't like it. Message. I, I would not be able to step in what I step in if I am that moved by people's opinions. You know what I mean? People unfollow me on a daily. <laughs> you know how many women get mad that I talk about submission? You know how many people get mad because I say Jesus? Y'all, I will be sitting around being offended all the time if I was worried about how people felt about me obeying God. Come on. When God tells me to open my mouth, I cannot say, hmm, I wonder what this person did that. But well, let me say it like this. No, let me. When y'all only fans get on them po them podcasts and y'all and y'all are sugar babies and y'all are all kinds of stuff, y'all do not apologize for what y'all do. Stop making Christians apologize for being believers. Yeah. Stop making us apologize for believing in Jesus. Yeah. That's the end of my tangent. Hey, listen, listen. I'm done. That was hey, that was some real stuff. As they say nowadays. Believers, when we're on these platforms, man, we have to stand on business. I don't care if you can't articulate it to the fullest, whatever. I don't know. It's just, but still, don't don't trash your people. Yeah. I feel like he took family business mm -hmm. and he brought it to a big secular platform yeah. and said, hey, this is how I feel. And it's like, no, you do that on with a your podcast. Or with your, with <laughs> no. therapist, number one. Counselors. But maybe we do that, have a discussion about where we feel the institution of of church is with other believers, okay? With other with other dudes that's gonna press you on that a little bit. Why you feel like that, bro? Okay, what what happened and things of that sort? Because yeah, some things behind the about or behind the curtains that that definitely yes. happened, man. But we we always talk about all of the wrong. We never yes. talk about so many out there that's doing good. And so I believe that one thing, and I'm gonna let you finish it off, babe. I believe that we we need to make sure that we're uh, more educated just about the church and all that. So a few different people I want to strongly recommend that y'all check out as far as their channels or their Instagram, Pastor Mace. Uh, he's really good. Alan Parr. Uh, make sure you check out that. Ruslan. Uh, Ruslan, definitely. Shout out to him. He's he's really good at, Tim at, at deep diving. At, yeah, Tim Ross. Like really tap into those different platforms, man. Yeah. And they'll go through it and they'll definitely uh, even break it down even further, yeah. man, because what he was talking about, I don't care if you're a non-believer and you feel what <clears> he's <throat> talking about, go check out some of those people who are going to really help you understand what the church is and what it's about. And they'll go a little bit deeper into that, but man, totally disappointed in him. But at the same time, we have grace for our brother. And we love him nonetheless. And we just know that he had a real human moment. He just did it the wrong way. And hopefully he has some type of remorse for it as well.
Yeah, and we're not just talking about Ty Tribbett either. Like we're yeah. we got plenty of people in mind when we're yeah. when we're talking like this. Yeah. Um, and I just want to also end this with saying I get it. Like yeah. I get the feeling that he had in that moment speaking about it. We dealt with church hurt that caused us ha to have to go to therapy for it. Yeah. Legit professional therapy. We got to go because of church hurt, because of the disappointment of a pastor and the, the body of Christ within mm -hmm. that church. So we, I, I feel like I'm able, if anybody is able to feel to angry, mm -hmm. upset, well, you can relate, but mm -hmm. my mission and our mission for the, the kingdom should be above our pains within what humans did to us. Mm -hmm. That's not Jesus. So when you got to you got to know that when a non-believer hears what you're saying, they're not saying, oh, that's just the church. They're saying that's the Christian stuff. I don't mm -hmm. want nothing to do with Jesus. They throw they throw Jesus in there with that. And so there's there. I just don't want the lines to continue to get blurred. Like, no, people are flawed as a mug. But Jesus and people that are really striving, there's it's just it's too much beauty yeah. over here for us to focus on that. So yeah. that's that. I understand where Ty Tripper was coming from. I absolutely get his heart behind it. I get his emotion behind it. I think it should have been a private conversation. I get it. But I think that he should have been on mission and should have been a little more mission minded in this yeah. interview. So y'all let yeah. us know let how y'all feel about this video. Drop it in. Yeah. The Make, comments. Drop it in the comments, man. Listen, run to the church and if y'all need yeah. good churches and you need a suggestion in your city or whatever hit us up dm us we can probably suggest some different ones but let us know what y'all think in the comments below yeah. hey thank you for making it to the end of this video if you could do us a huge favor please hit that like button and please subscribe yes and please do not forget to hit that notification bell we need y'all to be locked in every single time we drop this fire content yeah. also we need y'all to follow us on all social media platforms at the and look we will see y'all on the next video <laughs>